I'm gonna just go uh, slowly through this and I'll stop when I find, um, when I think something is worth stopping for and you know, there's um, some significance to the part that I wanna show you. Um, all right, let's do it. So that's the first little section there. Uh, I'll just play it. So it's kind of just um, A minor pentatonic stuff. Um, it just lives here. And that's where it lives. Um, the thing that makes this part cool, I think, is um, the way that the notes are played. You know, and that's I mean, that's just like such a universal thing, right? But um, you know, this solo can be played in a very boring way if uh, you wanted to play it that way. Um, so I think that it's it's super important to really milk out all of the nuance of the notes and um, and be as expressive as you possibly can when playing something like this, especially in like a, a low gain kind of um, with a low gain sort of tone. Um, you really have the opportunity to to ring out that that nuance out of the um, out of the notes, so why not take advantage, right? Um, all right, yeah, I'll uh, just play that again really slow. Little slide, and I do like a, you know, one of those little things. Slide. And there's another one. And I'm gonna do a bar dip. Uh, from this note, uh, and then down to the, the um, A. So, yes, yeah, so there's there's a lot of detail going on in there. Like the notes are simple, but um, you know there's there's a lot of little little nuance, little nuances going on, little quirks. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll do it again. That's that. I feel uh, comfortable moving forward now. Uh, so the next part is going to be uh, kind of like a hammered little little bit, hammered fits with like there's a, some little flat fives in there. But um, what I do is I uh, I'll pick the um, open string and then I hammer, and then I do a hybrid pick on the next string above, um, kind of like this. Like pick, hammer. Whoops. Pick hammer and then hybrid. Uh, you could just do an upstroke or whatever you feel comfortable with, I think. Like that sounds fine picked. Um, I just really like to hybrid stuff whenever I can. Um, it makes me feel cooler than everybody. So uh, that's what I do. Uh, so I'll go down um, this little uh, this little thing. It's just a diatonic dis descending little, little, uh, little phrase. So I'm starting on the um, seventh fret of D, and then I'm hammering. Um, yeah, I'm hammering on the seventh fret to the D, and then um, doing the hybrid on the ninth fret of the uh, of the G, and then kind of going uh, diatonically. So. That's the first half, and the second half is gonna start on fret nine of the A string, and we're gonna start on that same flat five here. We're gonna start there, but instead of hammering, uh, or instead of hitting the open D, uh, we're gonna descend um, on the A, so we're gonna hit the open A. So it's gonna sound like this. And that's that. Um, I will do it again. I'll do the entire thing out nice and slowly. Uh, don't start there, because those are the wrong notes. All right. And that's that. Uh, so next up, we, uh, you know, we, we have this slide from five to seven on the D, right? 
and uh, we're gonna slide up again to fret 10 and we're gonna land on fret 9 but um, what I'm gonna do is not pick at all uh, what I'm gonna do instead is I do a little bar dip to kind of get the the string vibrating um, instead of picking the note and I, I think it adds like a really nice um, little uh, you know, silky texture, if you will. So I'll show you how that sounds. And here's a little dip. So you see what I'm doing there? So, so let's, I'll just pick this out and then I do a dip. And then I do another one when I hammer onto the, uh, the string above on fret 10. So, I kind of switch between those two. I do a di I'll either like do it right when the note changes, like that, or I'll do like dip hammer. I'm still in between those two. Uh, I don't know which one I like more, but I just kind of do. Um, it just changes every other time, basically. <laughs> so yeah. Um, For this, we're going to do a natural harmonic on fret 12 of the A string with a little pre-dip, like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is do a little, uh, a cute little chord here on fret uh, 17 on the D, 16 G, and then um, the 17 again on the B string. You know, just really let it fly away right there. You know? All right. Um, so I'll just do that little section again, all of that together. Um, I'll start from the second half of the uh, little hammer-on section. So... Gorgeous. All right, uh, next up, I guess this would be the second half of the solo, at least that's how it works in my head, is this is the second half, this is where it, it gets a little busier, It's more notes involved, It's more finger movement. Uh, so we're gonna start with a pre-bend on, um, on fret 20, and we're just living in this little, this little pentatonic business here. Um, so we're gonna do a pre-bend right here, and then we're gonna bend up on fret 19 on the G string. Whole step. So that's the first little bit. And then we're gonna just kind of descend um, in alternating ways. Uh, this happens twice. And uh, yeah, the, the little descending line changes uh, slightly. So uh, let me show you how that goes. And we're gonna slide up to 22 on the D. That's the first repeat of that. All right. And now we're gonna do the second. Uh, this is slightly different. Instead of sliding to uh, 22, we're gonna slide up to uh, 21 here uh, at a slightly different spot, so I'll just show you. Right there. Play that one more time. <laughs> All right, that's that. Um, next up, we have the exact same notes uh, from the um, little hammer on section that we did earlier. This whole uh, that but we're gonna do all of that exactly one octave up so we're gonna start on fret um, what is that I can't count 
uh, 15, 19 uh, on the D string. <laughs> that so let's do that all together that all that second half of what we have so far <laughs> This is the uh, tricky part of the solo that I still mess up and will probably mess it up right now, but it's all good. Um, so this is a little thing I lifted from Rick Graham, little, the, the shapes at least. Um, it's basically uh, like combining two positions of the pentatonic scale together and making kind of like a, kind of makes it feel like you're, it's like almost sweeping to me. I, I really, really enjoy it. Super satisfying to play. So yeah, I think that lives in, yeah, it's like minor seven basically. Um, but yeah, we shoot up into another, another shape. So I'll just um, stop talking and show you what I'm playing. That's the first shape. Um, I'll tell you how I'm picking that exactly because it's kind of a, I mean, you could, you could do it your own way, of course. There's always what's going to be um, the more comfortable thing for you, what feels best. Um, but I'm just going to show you how I play it or how I pick it rather. Um, and maybe if this isn't a shape that you're comfortable with yet um, or something that you're not quite comfortable picking, um, maybe my picking pattern will um, be a, you know, will be helpful to you. So here we go. I'm doing a, um, yeah, so I'm doing a down hammer, uh, down, down, up, down, and then I am pulling off, pulling off, um, what am I doing? There we go. I didn't, I wasn't sure where it ended. Let me do it again really quick. It's hard doing things slowly, okay? It's, it's hard. Okay, uh, so... Down, hammer, down, down, up, down, pull off, pull off, and then I do a down, and then another down, so. Okay, uh, so that's the first shape. Um, yeah, that picking pattern feel, feels really nice. Um, so that's that, and then the second shape is uh... All right, so what I'm doing here, it's kind of a similar picking pattern. Um, I'm obviously gonna play this a lot slower than I just did. Um, so it's kind of like this, I do, um, I'll play it through first nice and slow and then I'll show you the picking pattern. All right, so uh, just depending on how I feel, I'll either do a down and then a hammer or I'll do a down up and I'll pick everything. So you can decide what to do. I'll just I'll just um, pretend that I do a hammer on every time, and we'll just go for, like that. So uh, down hammer, down up, down down down, um, up down, and then from here I do a uh, pull off, pull off, hammer from nowhere, and then hammer from nowhere, and then a big old bend. Full step bend right there on uh, fret 22. Um, so yeah, uh, this is uh, starting on fret uh, 14 on the D, by the way, sorry. I'm not very good at uh, telling you where I'm playing. Um, <laughs> so I'll just do it again nice and slow. Uh, down, hammer, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Pull off, pull off, hammer from nowhere, 
hammer from nowhere, and then a nice big uh, rake of the strings into the, um, you know, that whole step bend. <laughs> Actually, I don't think there's enough time to get a whole rake in there, so just do whatever you feel comfortable doing. Um, I don't feel comfortable raking at speed, by the way. Yeah, it's hard to do. Whatever you could. So yeah, uh, play it nice and slow again, one more time. That's that. I uh, noticed that I just picked these two when they're normally hammered from nowhere. Um, that's because of just the reduced speed at which I'm playing. Um, so yeah, that's that's the entire solo. That's it. You learned all of it. Uh, let's go through it um, real quick, f just from the top, um, slowly. Here we go. <laughs> Congratulations, you've done it. Um, sick. Rock and roll. All right, guys, that does it for the solo for Sanctum. A little lesson video there. Just threw it in, snuck it into you. A little sneak attack, a little sneak attack solo action, a little attitude, a little spice. I'm gonna do more of these uh, in the future. Um, but it, for this song specifically for Sanctum, I'm gonna do uh, some rhythm guitar parts and this and that you know little little things I think you guys would like uh, that I definitely do like to play so I, I feel that I it's my duty to share that with you stay sick stay tight keep playing guitar keep listening to interloper and I'll see you on the next one peace out guys